Even though Nigerians may consider the passage of the Peace Corps Bill as a fulfillment of a major promise having hitherto deferred its adoption after the Red Chambers raised some fundamental issues, the passage may also have helped in resolving the supremacy battle between the Peace Corps and the Nigerian police force. Having heard of the passage of the bill by the Red Chambers for accent by the acting president, officers and men of the Peace Corps in the state converge at its state office as the mood could be best described as a celebration galore. <laughs> As a mark of indicating its readiness to key into full fledged activism after the federal government gives statutory backing to the existing Peace Corps of Nigeria as resolved by the Senate, the officers and men led by its state commandant, First Lieutenant Bill Lokasin, took to some major streets of the state capital chanting various slogans in support of the passage of the bill. The harmonized version of the bill provides that it shall be domiciled with the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development with the head referred to as a national commandant deputized by six national commandants representing the six geopolitical zones of the country. State Commandant of the Peace Corps, Bill Lokasim, who welcomed the development, said, with about 6,000 officers and men, the people of the state have been assured of their determination to facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services, and neighborhood watch. The youth should always think of their own contribution, positive contribution to the development of our society, locality, state, and the nation at large. because. Uh, where we used to have problem here is most of our youth don't know the role they're supposed to play in the society. And as you know that the organization is an informal organization committed to national creativity youth development. <laughs> Ibrahim, Ahmed, 26 News.